How's it going everybody? In this video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at scaling out our VNI solution by adding a second VLAN and a second VNI, which is going to be for VLAN 20 for customer 1. I ran into a small hiccup with the lab for some reason. The ability to power on additional nodes in my topology isn't working, so I went to go add a second PC for VLAN 20 so that I'd be able to show MacroDisk propagation across both. It's not working. I'm not sure why. So I might have to save the config in all the boxes and then reload the topology, but specifically the EVM. So with that being said, what we're going to go do is on 9K1 and 9K3, we're going to create a second VLAN. We're going to associate that to a different VNI, so VLAN 20 is going to get created and we're going to associate VNI 10,020. We're going to associate it underneath the NVE interface with a multicast group of 224.1.1.1 and that should allow PC20, we're going to reconfigure the IP address on it, to be showing up in a different VNI under BGP and we're going to see exactly how that plays out as we move forward. With that being said, let's go ahead and knock out our lab. So the topologies, the configuration will actually be pretty easy. We're going to go ahead and on these devices, we're going to start on, oh, let's see, can I save it? Nope, it's going to make me log back in again. That's okay. Go ahead and log back in real quick. And just like that, we're going to go ahead and create a new VLAN. We're going to create VLAN 20. So we're going to go to global config, VLAN 20. We're going to specify the name of VLAN 20. And the VN segment is going to be 10020. And then underneath the interface NVE1, we're going to go ahead and type in member VNI 10020. And it's going to be MCAS group of 224.1.1.1. Something as simple as that. Same thing on 9K3. We're going to go to global config, VLAN 20. We're going to go ahead and name it VLAN 20. We're going to specify the VN segment of 10020. And underneath interface NVE1, member VNI 10020, MCAS group 224.1.1.1. And that literally is all we're going to have to do. From there, we're going to go ahead and reconfigure PC20. I'm going to go ahead and set the IP address to be 10.1.20.20. So IP will be 10.1.20.20 slash 24 to 10.1.20.254 slash 24. Or um, just like that. And on 9K3, we're going to go show run interface E1 slash 8. And we're going to see that's in VLAN 10. So we're going to do show VLAN brief, we can see that VLAN 20 has been created, but it is not applied to any ports. So interface E1 slash 8, switch port, access VLAN 20. Show VLAN brief again, just to verify. Boom, there it is, which is what we want. And we're going to do a show system internal L2 forwarder Mac. So there we have that. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I had to go create a interface VLAN for this guy as well. That's going to be something that we're going to want to do. So we're going to go to global config interface VLAN 20. We're going to go ahead and no shut this guy. Set the IP address to be 10.1.20.254 slash 24. And the fabric forwarding mode is any cast gateway. And that is pretty much all that we need to set up on that. And then 9K1, we're going to go to interface VLAN 20. IP address here will be 10.1.20.254 slash 24. No shut, fabric forwarding mode, any cast gateway. And then if I come over here to PC20 and I go to ping 10.1.20.254, that should respond. There it goes. And if I do a Come up here and do a show system internal L2 forwarder Mac. 
we should see VLAN 20 coming across, which we do, 6814, which is awesome, working out exactly the way we want it to. Come over here, and we run the same command on this guy. Uh, must have done it on the other box. Show system internal, L2 forwarder, Mac. We should see the Mac address coming across, which we do. Actually, it says it's static. Not sure why it says static, but we can see that it's coming across from 10.0.0.3. And if we do a show BGP, L2 VPN, EVPN, we're going to see a second VNI. And underneath the second VNI, we're going to see 10.0.0.2.0 right there. And we're going to see 10.1.20.20, which is exactly what we want to see. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is pretty much the, the long and the short of it in this particular scenario. So that is how you would add a new VLAN, a new VNI associated to the NVE interface, and then configure a sub uh, of SBI. Now let's jump back over here real quick. With this done, what we'll be able to do in the following video is take a look at doing inter-VNI routing. So we'll go through and do that. Now I'm going to take a break between now and then, and I'm going to save all the configs on all of the Nexus switches that we've deployed so far, and I'm going to go through the process of rebooting everything, because I think there's a, a small issue with this particular host, and specifically the VM, not the, the ESXi host that it sits on. I'm going to go ahead and fix that because there's a problem there, and I want to resolve that and get it fixed before we move it further in our series of videos. I'm also going to be going through and in an upcoming video, I'm going to get Switch 9. I'm going to get him set up because we'll be adding in another customer. And we're going to get PC21 squared away and we'll be able to move forward with him if um, as we proceed forward. Now, once that process has occurred, then we're going to go and focus on getting some other operations in play and stuff like that. So as far as I'm concerned right now, everything is looking pretty good. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And until next time, guys, take it easy.